account for the crimes in Libya and Afghanistan, but they've so far killed 400,000 children. And our senior police officers for operating a shoot-to-kill policy. We're the only European nation with police death squads allowed to walk around and shoot on the word of a police officer. So I'm horrified by it, and I think the thing to do, well, I talk about things to do, but really to do with the illegality of the actions of the government and the police that's caused the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Camilla, um, I have no doubt that the actions of the youth has been led by example from the top. <laughs> Everybody at the top has been showing them that the way forward is to be on the take. The bankers on the take with their bailouts, the MPs on the take with their expenses, the police on the take with News Corporation, and so they're getting the message that you want power, you want status, if you've got any power, then you go on the take. And I live on an estate where it's incredibly quiet on Monday night because nearly all the youth were down at Clapham Junction on the take. They were taking stuff, whatever they wanted, and they've never learned any, I mean, that's, they're learning their lesson well, and they, they've organised themselves really intelligently and cleverly to do it. Um, that said, um, you know, we can see what, the, you know, the bankers, they've been bailed out, but these youth, they haven't been bailed out. They've been having all their youth centres yeah, and resources no. taken away. I'm a lecturer, I know what's happened in terms of this, you know, the EMA, Education Maintenance Allowance, the, university fees being jacked out, these youth are being denied the possibility of getting a stake in the world as it's run. Um, but all that said, it is not okay to go burning and threatening people in their houses and have kids running out from fire settings um, and such like. But we've seen the examples from the top, the examples from the top are bombing now in Libya. You know, apparently we haven't got money for the youth centres, but we have got money to bomb Libya. Um, yeah. Continuing in Afghanistan, continuing in Iraq. Um, but the formula for this, well, I was down in, in Clapham Junction yesterday doing a clean-up, and there were people there wearing T-shirts saying, loot is our scum. Um, but the, we really need to nail who are the looters and who are the scum, who are the real looters, the, the bankers that have been bribing everybody all over the world, uh, the politicians in their pockets, um, and we need the crackdown on crime, and the crackdown on crime has to be, you've got to do it at the top to be able to say to those who are right at the bottom, I agree with Chris about this huge divide, those who are right at the bottom, you can't, it's just out of order, you can't do that stuff, you can't go burning around, burning people out of their house. That's just, but who has the moral authority to speak? Who has that? Uh, I think that we live in a system of a pyramid hierarchical structure, e economic system, and that all the, and that young children from an early age are targeted by a huge uh, wide variety of media's telling them what they should be having, <laughs> and yet they can't get what they are told that they not must have. Trainers and TVs. So is it, so in the end, and that, that, that's actually enforced on them, to the point that a lot of them have, you know, done, have been arrested many times, or been searched many times, and been criminalised, because they are the, the economic underclass of the country. And they've kicked off. And I think the government is uh, using it to uh, create a legitimacy of... Uh, Legitimise its own position as a as a righteous protector of, of the people and, and morality, and I, I think that we've got to undermine that position um, with peaceful civil disobedience. Stuff of, uh, like we saw in uh, North Africa, which like, uh, whereby we 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 did not uh, we did not allow ourselves to be compromised by uh, any any violence but at the same time we, we we hold our ground and we don't just accept for instance curfews or the kind of things that they're going to be rolling out potentially banning assemblies saying oh this is uh this is insightful this could start a riot so i think we have to be prepared to do that 
and I think also it'd be better to go to prison as, uh, as people of a cause, because by doing that we will show who really is wrong. And, um, and I think that we need, to, we need to show what is right and what is wrong. And, and, and we have some powerful means at our disposal to do that. Uh, we, need to, we need to speed the contrast. So that's what I think. Hello, my name is Phoenix. Uh, we've had a bit of a little seed of a People's Assembly getting together, discussing how people felt about what's happened over the last few days. I think it's a really good process for people to get together in circles, discuss how they're feeling, what they've seen happening over the last few days, how it's been portrayed in the media. Um, it's, you know, people really need to talk and to listen and to be heard at this time. And we just went round, you know, a small circle of people and heard some of their perspectives about what had gone on. Some people didn't want to be filmed, some people did. Um, but I think it's an important thing to happen now in all of our different communities all over for the communities to get together to discuss what they've seen happening and what they want to see happen for the future. There needs to be dialogue. There's a major disconnect between the politicians and the people. What's going on? One thing I checked on the, the internet, there's been a lot of stuff out, all different sides on it, but um, something like 8 out of 13 youth centres were closed down in Haringey, Hackney area in, in the last month or two, and the kids were on two weeks before this all went off saying, what's going on? All of our youth centres have been closed, and at the end of it said there's going to be riots, which is quite a predictable, prof prophetic thing, you know, for, you know, prophesizing something that's going to happen. It's, we really need, I've been involved with running nearly 20 years of community centres in squatted empty buildings. There's enough people out there who want to run, you know, community facilities voluntary, but time and time again we've been ignored, we've been evicted, we've been thrown out, people have been arrested, people have been ignored. It's like banging your head against a brick wall trying to talk to the councils and the authorities about the need for community centres. Nearly a million empty buildings out there in the UK. I think some of the solutions are we need to get together big circles and discussions of what's gone on and what we're going to do. We need to open up some of the million empty buildings that are out there for people to use as community centres, environment projects, places where the young and old can meet, can dialogue, can discuss and start to reconnect the webs in our community that have been fractured by what's going on. So, you know, there's a lot of different debate about what's going on, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of you know negative stuff going on with people burning out local shops and uh, things going on that shouldn't be going on. But people are righteously angry, and it's you know as people are brought up, they're angry about the cuts, about the banks, about the illegal wars. You know there is terrible destruction's gone on, but are we really looking at the destruction that's been wreaked by this country in Afghanistan, in Iraq? It's going on now in Libya. We need to be looking at the bigger picture and start to have a dialogue in our communities and also dialogue all around the world about how we're going to create a peaceful, sustainable future. So um, I think there's a few like North and South London unity marches and riot cleanups and things going on. Hopefully there's going to be some large circles of community discussions, people's assemblies, discussing what's gone on and the way forward, what we can do about it and uh, the solutions and just getting on with it, taking peaceful action for a better future. Easy.